Quarter to nine now, Friday morning, September the 28th, 17, your high later today. Chef Rob Feeney is here. Good morning. Wow, I've never cooked seated before. This is outstanding. <laughs> I feel really comfortable. Rob, you seated? Oh, wow. You got a little big. Though. Yeah, you yes, got a little did. large yeah. doing that. Uh, you have a new book out called Casual Classics Everyday Recipes for Family and Friends. I mean, you are known, well, you won Iron Chef for one thing, against Chef Morimoto, which no one does, right? Like, that's a huge monster deal. Well, there's a few. I think he had four losses of an 80. Out of 80? I think so. I, I'm not wow. sure. At the time, you know what's funny? At the time when I did the show, I didn't realize that uh, uh, I thought I was going to lose. So it's like <laughs> I was going against, yeah. like, like, the Iron Chef, I've right? I've never so. seen that, that particular episode. What was the food challenge? What was it? It was battle crab. Crab. Yeah. Oh, gee. And it's probably battle best. Crab. It's probably best that you thought, no, nah, I don't have a chance. You know, and it's funny. It's, in there. I went there, and you know, it's the it's the closed set thing, and and uh, so yeah, you know, obviously no one knows like four months out. So if you lose, it's like either if you lose, I was either going to leave the country or <laughs> right, whatever, right. right? But no, I, I it was uh, it was an incredible experience. But he he's we've become really good friends since. It's kind of funny. Like I mean, even Mario Batali, I met him. Uh, well, I met him. I knew him before, but he did a little. A little excerpt on the back of the book, and yeah. it's it's funny how life works. As you know, all of a sudden, you know, you beat like the guy, and all of a sudden, all the other chefs, hey, this guy is he's pretty right. good. It right, gives you some serious cred. Now, yeah. so you obviously can you cook at that level and have fabulous restaurant uh, out west, but you can also bring it down to sort of everyday and yeah. simple and everybody. Yeah, I'm you know I've been cooking a long time, and I think you know Dave knows. I mean, back in the Vancouver days, I, you know, I had a very high-end restaurant, and I've kind of moved to a more casual. And now with Cactus, the last five years, it's kind of this is more a bit who I am now. I mean, I have more time to spend at home, and I've got three young kids, so I, I my cooking style hasn't really, I mean, my love for the, hasn't, hasn't changed. It's just that what I do is a little easier than it used to be. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of in, in terms of Canadian, uh, Canadians in terms of food, you look at how people are eating and people are very conscious, conscientious about product and we'll get to the salad in a sec, mm -hmm. sec which was kind of where I'm going. But um, people are really conscious about food and product. And I think that, you know, all I've done is really taken a book and tried to really, you know, made it really easy. Like there's a broccoli recipe in there, in there that's like pecorino cheese, olive oil, and lemon juice, which is very, may sound basic, but it actually makes my kids eat the broccoli, number right. one. But mm -hmm. that's the, the whole idea of the book was to sort of uh, make it paperback for one so you can use it in the kitchen, not to worry about getting it dirty mm -hmm. and keep, the, keep it simple. So these are recipes that are, this is stuff I do at home that I sort of brought uh, bringing people to the table, but is not gonna be all that complicated mm -hmm. for you to do. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Well, this is uh, very, this is one of the more simplest things in the book, but quinoa, you know, is like, even though it's been in the Mayans, this this grain's been around forever, is that right? From the Mayans? Yeah, this has been around a long, long time, but it's all of a sudden it's become this, you know, like kale, kind of, kind of one of these superfoods. But this is in a way because this is one of the most complete proteins on the planet. So really? when you make this salad, you don't need chicken, fish, or anything. You mm -hmm. just you sub in the the quinoa. And like I said, just to give you an example of how simple the recipes are in the book, this is quinoa, very easy to cook. It's basically one cup of quinoa to a cup and a half of water. Yeah. Uh, so it cooks very much like rice. The only thing is you need to rinse it really well in water because it's a bit of a bitter grain. Mm -hmm. So it takes a little bit of the bitterness out. I really enjoy sitting making this. This is quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a little bit for you. So I'm going to, the thing about quinoa too is it, it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it needs things, so it needs yeah. flavor. So we're just going to put some green onion. I'm going to put some green beans. These have been blanched already. This Those is look gorgeous. The seated chef. That could be the, the seated chef. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the next show. The next show. Okay. And then uh, a little bit of pepper in it. This is just raw pepper. Capers, just a few because we don't want to add too many because they want to make it too salty. These are pecans. That's okay. what's great yeah. about a quinoa salad. You can just put anything That's in there. What I'm, yeah, well, pretty much. And then you were talking just in the passing in the back there, you're talking yeah. couscous. So if this could, you could, you could sub this in for couscous. Did I say couscous? When yeah, I but that's okay. Then? But you, I was just, because I, I was thinking when you walked by, it's like people that know couscous, you can take this grain, do the same thing, put your pitted olives, put your le lime, right. lemon, or sorry, lemon zest, a little bit of olive oil, and some, you know, fresh chopped parsley, and do the same thing with this grain, and right. it'll taste pretty much the same. Yep. Okay, so this is the thing about I like about this is we're That's just going to add a yeah. little bit of yeah, what's it? I love well, you know, you know just yeah. like, I don't know if you know saw what how they're doing with My food. lemons never do that. Well, that's because if you cut them, you see how you cut them on the side? Yeah. You get yeah. way more juice. Look really? At that. Yeah, you do. I've never cut a lemon little like trick. that in my life. Little trick little tricks of the trade and then we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. Okay? And some nice at this at this point when you're making a salad like this, spend a little bit more money and get a really nice well, extra Chris virgin gave olive oil. Great olive oil the other day. 
Thank and then you very much. A little bit of basil. I'm just gonna. This this is uh, a way of making it even more flavorful because there's tons of oils, as you know, in basil. So as opposed to cutting it up ahead of time, you do this last minute. And this then is I'm just, why oh. food shows do so well because does, it's just hypnotizing. To watch if you've got you leftovers this. of this, Rob, does it keep well, or is it one of these things you got to eat in the moment? Well, the salad you should make. To, you should make it when you need it. But mind you, if you're gonna like on a day like today, if you're gonna make a, a lunch for yourself and you want to pack it, yeah. you can do this no problem, right? So that's so. a lot of salt. I, I was just thinking. I I don't think I ever put in enough salt, and that's why my okay. food is all. Well, I would, plain, I would, it's well, you know, the chefs have a tendency, as they say, to over salt, right? It's kind of one of those, one of those things that's kind of a bit crazy. But I'm just gonna put. Look at this. I got these little bowls. Mm -hmm. And you still haven't stood up yet. You still. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, and uh, this took no time. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. It well, did, that, don't say it took no time. Look at all these. Well, yeah, you have to chop vegetables. everything up. How long does that it take to cook the quinoa? <laughs> How long is that? Is uh, that honestly, right? quinoa is. Oh, it's it, fast. Quinoa. It's fast. It's like literally. Like I just made some the other day for my wife and I, and. Uh, I think we had it on the stove for uh, maybe five minutes, okay. not I even. I cook it in the it's rice fast. cooker, and it's. So I'm just going to put a little bit more oil, oil because just so you know, the, the great thing about your diet, you can have at least easily one tablespoon of olive oil a day without being worried about it. That looks amazing. Can we give that a try before we have to wrap up? Here we go. Spoons for everyone. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, now I got to stand up. Fantastic. <laughs> everyone, ladies. Thank okay, you. Thank you. you. This looks. Yeah. I love green. Oh, and we're looking at. Did we get a shot? Show, show that. I so the great thing about a salad like this, you could probably Beautiful. have a full. You can have a full salad like this for easily less than three, four hundred calories. So and three, I didn't bring my lunch today, so this is perfect. Yeah, and then three, four hundred calories, and you've got at least you've got you know, it, depending on the quinoa, you'd have your you know minimum protein you needed for the day or more, right? So that's the cool right. thing about this. No salmon, but then on top of it, if you wanted to get double protein, take add chicken to this, add fish to this. Delicious. Good, Rob. Love that it. Lemon gush is good. the trick. Oh, Makes all the difference. So, so good. remember how to cut your lemons. Yeah, on the side. This good tip. Really Rob good. Feeney's Casual mm. Classic. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for the food. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in a second. Totally my lunch now.